Hey guys, so a couple days ago, I just picked up this little blue box here, and this happens to be the MXR Analog Chorus Pedal. Now, in this video, I'm going to let you hear what this sounds like, of course, with a clean guitar tone, but I'm also going to let you hear what this sounds like for some rock and metal guitar tones. Now, before we get into the tones here that I'm about to let you hear, I uh, just quickly want to tell you a little bit about this pedal here. So, basically, you've got your standard level, rate, and depth as you would expect on a chorus pedal, but you've also got some additional controls. You've got a low and high, so that gives you a little bit more control over your tone, which is kind of cool to have. But the real highlight of the MXR Analog Chorus Pedal is it uses what's called Bucket Brigade Circuitry, and this is said just to give you more of a luscious sound, if you will, just a more a nicer tone than the digital circuitry. So that's the big difference here. Now, how this is going to work, I'm going to hook this up to my EVH-51 EL34 tube amp here, and I always like to tell you guys what I'm playing through just because that's the right thing to do. But we're going to connect this. I'm going to mic it up with a good old Shure SM57 here, and I'll run it through the studio so you'll be hearing the actual recorded output here with this pedal and my amp. For the clean tone, I'm going to give that to you using my Ibanez Prestige RG1570. Now let's hear a more rock driven style tone and for that I am going to use my LTD M1000 Deluxe Guitar. <laughs> Now it's time to go in the deep darkest pits of metal. With a 7 string, I'm gonna use my ESP E2 Horizon FR7. <laughs> All right, now I want to go into my settings for this chorus pedal and I'll be honest with you guys, there's nothing fancy going on here. I don't do anything crazy. Uh, as you can see, I leave the tone for the low and high. I leave that pretty much up the middle. I may boost a little bit of that from time to time, but for the most part that stays up the middle. If I boost anything, it's usually the high, as you can see here. I give that just a little nudge. Now the next thing you'll notice, and again, this is nothing super fancy. My level is usually between like six and seven. That's typical for me. My rate, I keep that below 
the midway mark, usually between like three and four, somewhere around there. Now the depth I do crank up a little bit because that just gives you more of that luscious chorus tone. That's Jason's very simple chorus settings for the MXR analog chorus. And that's really, anytime I'm using any type of chorus, that's pretty much my basic settings. I don't use chorus that much, you know, I'll be honest with you, I really don't use it a whole lot at all. Uh, I will throw it on when I'm playing clean a lot of times because I just love that sound. But for distortion, for rock and metal, even though I gave you that demonstration just now, I really don't use it that much for that unless it's a very specific part of the song that may call for something different. And that's the beauty of using something, uh, an effect like chorus, like this analog chorus pedal here, or any kind of chorus, is if you want like a certain part of the song, like a bridge or maybe intro, outro, or something like that, uh, if you want to use just something a little different to spice your song up a little bit, then that's a great effect to use because you can make it a subtle effect so it's not like really over the top, you're still holding on to your true guitar tone, but you can add that little bit of flavor to it. It's like a little bit of hot sauce on chicken wings, you know, <laughs> just to give the song a different feel for that little part. So that kind of helps break up your music a little bit. Now, just a quick story behind this pedal. Actually, there's nothing behind it. All right, so just a couple of days before I film this video here that you're watching, I was at a local guitar shop called Replay Guitar Exchange and um, I was actually doing uh, a demo video for the Orange Rocker Verb, which you guys will catch that, the video right before this one. If you want to go check that out, I'll leave a link in the description and I'll put it up there somewhere too. As I was walking out of the store, my wife and I, because she helped me do the filming and stuff like that, um, but as I'm walking out, of course, naturally, I'm going to look over at, you know, all the cool gear. <laughs> And it's hard not to stop and I'm like, okay, I want this and that and that and this over here. But anyway, I saw this blue little box and I'm like, you know, I have been wanting a chorus pedal uh, for a while now for my EVH amp. You know, it's just, I don't know, for the clean tones. And that amp actually has a really nice clean tone, but I love to add some chorus uh, to that tone. And to be honest with you guys, I really didn't care what chorus pedal it was. I wasn't looking for anything specific. But I asked my buddy Cliff who works there, I'm like, hey dude, what do you think about this pedal? Because they had it, I think it was in the use section. And it's for a really good price. So, you know, he told me, he's like, actually it's pretty awesome. You'd play through it and, and yada yada. I bought it without even playing through it and took it home. And I'm like, wow, I like this pedal. <laughs> this is a pretty awesome pedal. Now, real quick, for those of you who do not have this, I have a free metal guitar practice guide. There's a link in the description of this video. So grab your copy of that. And guys, leave me any questions you have on chorus pedals. I'll try my best to answer them. Like I said, I don't have a ton of experience with different types of chorus pedals, but you know, I'll do my best to answer questions. And if you see someone else's question on chorus pedals that I can't answer, please feel free to chime in. You know, this is one big guitar player's community to hear. That's what my channel is out there for. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for all your support. Until the next video, as always, keep it metal.